Live from my board game room, it's my in, it's the insane board game freak show with your host, media insane board game freak. Yo, come on, story, buddy. You see, you gotta drink some water before you can be able to pretty good like that. You know? And if you don't know, now you know. In this episode, I wanted to wear my green shirt for this occasion for this board game, but I didn't find it. So now, I'm going to wear my usual blue shirt. No, I do my laundry. It doesn't smell bad. Anyway, in this episode... I have it underneath where my uh, video game style board games are. Give me a second. Be the first player to move your centipede into your opponent's home base. Based on the action packed arcade game by Atari. Enter the world of centipede in this episode. Centipede. The board game from Milton Bradley this time. Quick. To the board game room, and we're not gonna go through that joke again. Centipede. I think I gotta wash this shirt. All right, here we go with Centipede. All right, here we go with Centipede. And now in this game, Centipede, you're going to get this board here. And then you're going to get all these player market pieces here. You know, these mushrooms that you, the game has holes in it. All right. So the board has holes and you got to put these in here, you know, through the holes in the bottom. You get the spinner here. Okay. So it's going to say centipede, scorpion, free choice, or spider. Okay, or blaster. So spider, scorpion. All right. Um, you're going to get these centipedes here. Uh, you're going to have to put them together. So some assembly is required. All right. And they spin and they, they travel together like that. Okay, so this is the start, finish, start, finish area. Okay, start, finish. So green goes there and orange goes there. Okay. And then you get your blasters. Okay. So the blasters go here. And then you're going to get um, spider's layer. So the spider goes there and the scorpion goes there. Okay. And you get your mushrooms. Okay. So now um, this game is different than the IDW centipede game. But they're both just the same as cool. Um, the components in this one's, you know, uh, fun, you know, um, the one in IDW is fun too, but they'll, they are fun too, like, in, but, um, they're made out of, uh, out of wood, these are made out of plastic, so, and then you got your mushrooms that are just like tokens like that, they're not like, you know, wooden, um, you know, like meeple-like, uh, mushrooms. The spinner's cool. Uh, the game plays pretty easily. Different graphics to it. You know. But um, anyway, that's it. So each player, it's a two-player game. Uh, you're going to have one player on this side, one player on the other side. Okay. And uh, so 10 mushrooms, I'm pretty sure, comes with this game. Uh, the instructions on how to play the game goes like this, so bear with me. Be the first player to move your centipede into your opponent's home base, okay? So you're going to be moving along here, and so is your opponent, okay? And your opponent is going to be going all the way to finish. And then yours is going to start here and then go away to their finish, okay, to, to finish. 
So, uh, here's how the game plays. Uh, you're going to start out with seeing who was going to be who and setting up the board like this. And um, those are the plug-in mushrooms. Get the guns. You're going to place the guns on opposite edges of the board. At the start of the game, uh, both guns must be facing the row of six mushrooms in the center of the, uh, the board. Okay? Like so. Alright, so that, that's the game. Okay, so now. Um, Spider and Scorpion. This is just setting up. Gameplay summary. Okay. Now, um, I'll put the uh, spinner here. So you can see it. And then the mushrooms here too. Okay. All right. So now, um, your objective is to move your centipede from your home base to your opponent's home base. Okay, and what you do on your turn depends on what you spin on the spinner. Okay, um, spin centipede, and you can move your centipede along the twisted path toward your opponent's home base. Spin spider scorpion. Okay. And, um, then, uh, you're going to have to, um, you can move the scorpion to plant poison mushrooms on the path, or you can move the spider to remove poison mushrooms from the path. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. So now, um, you're going to also, um, have the guns here. I'll tell you about that. Okay. And, um... Um, okay, or you can use the sp spider or scorpion to attack your opponent's gun, okay? So if your centipede runs into a mushroom, a poison mushroom, it can take a shortcut, spin the gun, all right, and the blaster there. So, if you do that, uh, you can move and shoot your gun, spin free choice, okay, and uh, you could pick the move you want to make, either or of these, what's on the spinner. Okay, reach your opponent's home base before he or she met, uh, reaches yours, and you'll win the game. Alright, so how to play the game. You choose a player to go first, then players alternate turns. Using the spinner, on your turn, you're going to spin the spinner, in which will direct you to do one of the following things. Okay? Uh, you're going to move gun and shoot if you spin the blaster. Now, if you spin the blaster, you're going to move your gun and shoot. Okay? So, um, if you spin the gun, you must do two things in the following order. First, you're going to slide your gun along the edge of the board to any space on the firing line. Okay. And, uh, now, um, these are your poison mushroom spaces. Okay. So you're going to put poison mushrooms there, or you're going to, um, you're going to, uh, what do you call it? Remove them. Okay. So, remember, the scorpion could put the po poison mushrooms there. But I'm just going to put them here just for an example. Yeah, you know, like, uh, so I don't have to keep going back and forth, taking them off, putting them on, whatever. Put them on, taking them off. And, uh, now, okay, so now, um, you got the blasters here. Now, if you spin the gun, you can move and shoot your, okay, so. Spin free choice, and you can pick the move that you want to make. So now, when you when you move the gun and shoot, if you spin the gun, you must do uh, two of the things. You can first slide your gun along the edge of the game board, okay? And uh, the fire line. Now, second, you're going to shoot your gun. And remember, you must move your gun before you shoot. So you cannot shoot through the four spaces along 
with the red line, okay? That's the curves here, all right? So now, um, uh, your shot travels in a straight line until it either hits the first object in its path or it goes off the opposite side of the board, okay? So, all right? So now, um, uh, if you shoot your opponent's centipede, turn the segment over, label side down. So you're going to flip these like that, depending on what you hit, okay? So now, um, turn the segment over, label side down, so it is a dead segment. Also, you could turn up, label side up, any one segment of your centipede to make a live again if it's dead. Okay, if you shoot a poison mushroom, all right, uh, you're going to remove it from the board, okay, and um, uh, if you shoot the spider, return it to the spider's den, okay, so you return it to the spider's den there, all right, um, if you shoot the scorpion, um, if the spider is standing on a poison mushroom, though, the mushroom remains on the board because the spider did not have a chance to remove it, okay? So, um, if you choose, if you shoot the scorpion, return the scorpions, return the scorpions hollow, okay? And, uh, if the scorpion is standing on a poison mushroom... Also remove the mushroom from the board because the scorpion did not have a chance to plant it. Okay? So if you shoot a plug-in mushroom. Okay? If you shoot one of those. Uh, your opponent's gun or a segment, live or dead, of your own centipede. Nothing happens and your turn is over. Okay? Now, um, move centipede. If you spin centipede... Then you're going to move the centipede, move your centipede forward one space for each segment that is live. So if you have, that's live, that's live. Okay, so you're going to move it five segments. But if, it, if it's all live, then you're going to go all the way and move all six spaces. So you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's covering all the spaces get it okay and then you're gonna move again the number that you go you're gonna keep going along like that and then see how it curves and turns pretty cool huh that's what's gonna be going on in the game and your opponent's gonna be doing the same thing okay now um if your head segment is not live you cannot move your centipede however you can turn up label side up the head segment to make it live again you cannot move until you spin centipede again on a subsequent turn. So if all segments of your centipede are live, then move ahead six spaces. Okay? So that's the example of that I said. Now, um, move scorpion or spider. If you spin scorpion spider, okay, you're going to move um, either the scorpion or the spider, your choice. You cannot move both on the same turn, so you got to choose wisely what you want to do. So you're going to use the scorpion to plant mushroom, poison mushrooms along the game path to create shortcuts for your centipede, as explained in Rule 3. Um, coming up soon or something. Okay. And, uh... Um... You're going to use the spider to remove poison mushrooms from the game path so that your opponent can't use them, as explained in Rule 4, coming up soon, okay? So also, you're going to use the spider to attack your opponent's gun, okay, as explained a little bit later on in the instructions. So free choice. When you spin the free choice, if you spin free choice, select any one of the above things to do and make your move that I just explained. Okay. All right. So now, um, how to plant poison mushrooms? You can use the scorpion to poison to plant poison mushrooms on the path to create a shortcut for your centipede. 
To do so, you just place a poison mushroom on one of the ten spaces, poison mushroom spaces, that had the little dots on them, like the little circles, okay? So, now, um, uh, so, then you're going to move the scorpion on top of it. So, you're going to put a poison mushroom over there to plant it. So, first, it's empty. No, it's not. Plant it. And then you're going to put your scorpion on top of it. Okay? So, now, um, when a centipede runs into a poison mushroom now, or the scorpion or the spider, it turns and moves to the next row of the game path, turning around the adjacent plug in mushroom all right and showing this figure here so it's gonna bunk into that and just go straight up and around that thing so for example if it bunked into it it's gonna go like that okay and then continue on to the next space or opposite side around So, you, you, you get it. So, how to remove poison mushrooms. And let me see if I finished up with how to plant poison mushrooms. You're going to use the, sport, the scorpion to plant the mushroom. And create a shortcut to centipede. To do so, just place the... Okay. I want the spaces. And then the scorpion on top of it. Okay, when the scorpion is moved again by either player, the mushroom remains on the board until it is either removed by the spider or shot by a gun. Okay? So when the centipede runs into a poison mushroom or the scorpion or the spider, it turns into moves it turns and moves to the next row of the game pad turning around the adjacent plug in mushroom as shown. Alright. So that's that. So you can figure that out. Now how to remove poison mushrooms. Use the spider to remove poison mushrooms from the path. So your opponent can't use them for shortcuts. See how I showed you with this example. Now they got a shortcut that, that was created for them. But without it, with the poison mushroom taken out from the spider, now they don't have a shortcut to go through. You get it? So now you're going to use the spider to remove poison mushrooms from the pad so your opponent can't use them for shortcuts. The spider removes a poison mushroom in two steps. First, to move the spider on top of the poison mushroom. Okay. And then... Um, your turn is over. <laughs> okay, so then the next time the spider is moved by you or your opponent, the poison mushroom is removed from the board. Please note that if the spider is shot while on a poisonous mushroom space, you know, with a poisonous mushroom, on it, uh, the spider is moved back to the spider's den, but mushrooms remain on the board. Okay. All right, so uh, now how to attack your opponent's gun. You can use the spider to attack your opponent's gun, so it cannot be used against you. The spider attacks a gun in two steps. First, you're going to move the spider onto the sp spider space. Okay. And then... Um, um, on the same side of the firing line as your opponent's gun, so... My opponent's gun's over here, let's just say. Or their opponent's over here. I'm the opponent. So now you're going to move the spider onto the side of the board with the gun. Okay? So spider space. So you're going to notice spider space. And same thing goes with the other side of the board you got the spider spaces here and here those two dots look like just this in case i run out of time join me in the next episode for insane board game freak show with uh the game milton bradley centipede okay all right um so basically that's it you gotta remember your opponent's gun must be on the same side of the firing line as a spider when you attack as a reward, you can spin the spinner again and take an extra turn. Okay? 
Your opponent cannot move and shoot the gun again until he or she spins scorpion spider or free choice and moves a spider off the gun. Please note that the spider cannot attack a gun on the center space of the firing line. Okay, this is the safety space for the gun. Alright, so, um... Um... Choice in the spinner, you can move uh, the spider space... You can move the spider from the spider space onto the barrels of your opponent's gun. So, with these ridges, it'll sit right there like that. Something like that. That's a scorpion, but... The spider. Well, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. So, uh... How to make your centipede segments live again. If your opponent shoots a segment of your, of your centipede and turns it label side down, that segment is dead. Remember, there are two ways to make a dead segment of your centipede live again. If you shoot your opponent's centipede, okay, um, you can uh, immediately turn any dead segment of your, of your centipede label side up. To make it live again. If you spin centipede on the spinner. Okay. Um, you can immediately turn the head segment of your centipede label side up to make it live again. If it is dead. Then your turn is over. You cannot turn a body segment of your centipede label side up to make it live again when you spin sp centipede. Okay. When centipedes meet. Okay. When you, when you both meet up. All right, centipedes meet. Okay, when the centipedes meet. All right, and here the spider can jump from a spider space to any of the five adjacent spaces to attack the gun, as shown by the arrows. There's a diagram of that, okay, in case you want to know. All right. So now, um, if your centipede runs into your opponent's centipede in the path, place your centipede on the six spaces immediately behind your centipedes. Your opponent's centipede, okay, as shown here, and your turn is over. So when your centipedes meet, the one in motion jumps over the other one. Okay, so let's say this one's in motion, it's going to jump over it. All right, and uh, any poison mushroom, spider, or, sp or scorpion on these six bases is removed from the board if only part. Of your opponent's centipede is in your path because it's turning around a plug mu plug-in mushroom. Just jump over the segments that are on the path directly in front of your centipede, as shown. Okay, and turn your turn is over. Now, if your centipede is turning around a plug mushroom, plug-in mushroom, and runs into your opponent's centipede, uh, place your centipede on the six spaces immediately behind your opponent's centipede, and your turn is over. Okay, that's that. Okay. And then there's another diagram of that. Okay. And, um... Um, you must move all six segments of your centipede into your opponent's home base to win. Exact count is not needed. How to win the game. Be the first player to move your centipede into your opponent's home base. And that's centipede. Alright. Now let's go see my final thoughts about the game. If I run out of time of doing that, 